In this video, I'm going to provide a brief overview as far as the Microsoft Word UI and getting started and some things you might want to pay attention to. So here I have the base UI as far as whenever you first open Microsoft Word. I'd like to draw your attention to a few areas just so you can double check. Number one, to make sure that you do have Microsoft Word hooked up to your student account, some places that you can look. Number one, up at the top here, you can see here how it has me signed in as myself. If you see anything like the out, a shaded uh, small person or a stick figure here, this means you're not logged in. So you can come up here, you can click on this, and you'd be able to come in and either sign in with a different account or it may just say sign in. Another place that you can check is all the way down in the left hand side here where it says account. This will actually bring up all of your product and user information that you can go through and actually look at as far as the different options are concerned. In the home area, you have where you can make brand new documents where Microsoft Word, what it's doing is it's guessing what type of document may you need. For a lot of the projects that we're going to do in this course, we're going to be starting with a blank document, or I am going to give you the Word document that you're going to build off of. Another option, however, is under New. New gives you many more options as far as a lot of the different templates that are available to you in Office, but likewise you can also get to blank document. Finally, you have the open area, where if you already have a Word document that you'd like to work with, or you downloaded and unzipped one of the project folders, you could then go and browse. So for instance here, I can go to Documents, CIT 100 Projects, and I can come into and open my file here. Now, if you make a blank document, you're not going to see this window, but I wanted to open a file for you just so you could see. Normally, anytime you open an external file that you did not create using your version of Microsoft Word or any of the Microsoft Office documents, you're going to get this protected view. This is to protect you in case you're opening something you're not familiar with where it came from. Anything that I send you is going to be fine. You're going to have to though click on enable editing to actually activate both your ribbon bar but also be able to come in and actually work on the file. So if we click on that, you can now see that the UI has shifted over to the base UI that you'll be using in Microsoft Word. So let's talk about this real briefly to get folks started. Microsoft has switched to a concept called the ribbon. The ribbon is what runs across the top here, and these are all of your different sections as far as grouped together tools and things that you can use to create your document. So for instance, if I click on File, notice that this takes me back and allows me and gives me a lot more options as far as closing out the file, exporting, printing, saving, or I can even make new or open different documents. Often students will click on this by accident when they're first learning this suite and they won't know how to get back. There's an arrow at the top here. You click on the arrow, it'll take you back into your work area. A couple of other things to point out is you can tell which area of the ribbon you're currently working in by the underlined area here. So right now I'm on the home tab of the ribbon. If I go to layout, for instance, you can see how I get the bar there for layout showing that this is the current active tab. Couple of other things. Number one, you do have some save options up in the corner here, up in the left hand corner. By default, if you want to save to your cloud OneDrive folder, you can turn on the auto save if you want to. You'd have to re-sign in using your account. Or if you want to save locally on your current computer, you can just hit the little save icon or use control S. One area that a lot of folks don't notice also is down in the lower right hand side. You do have a zoom bar down here. I like to use this that if, you know, maybe you can't, uh, maybe the text is too small, instead of making the text larger, you can make the overall page larger. You can do this by using and either clicking and dragging 
or you can use the little plus and minus to take things up by 10% if you'd like to zoom in so you can see what you're working on. And those are pretty much your starting points as far as starting out with Microsoft Office.